All right, Heather, where are we off to today? I tell you, Tyler, we have the pleasure of being right here at Siesta Key Rum, made in Sarasota, off of 301 on Industrial Boulevard. That's right, it's Tyler. And Heather. And we are out. And about Sarasota. What am I going to say next, Heather? He's going to say, we're going in to take a gander. Let's do it. Let's do it. Siesta Key Rum, I'm back here again with our friend, the operations manager, Nicole. How are you, Nicole? Doing well. Nice to see you again. You guys really are all around town covering a lot of events. It's great to keep it local. Let's get right to it. What are we looking at right now? So you guys are in the meat and potatoes, really, of our distillery. Uh, we have a couple of these beautiful copper stills. This is what um, makes all of our really great rums. We have a couple distillers. It's all, almost all family run. We have the owner of the company, Troy, who's here every single day working with our distillers. Um, his oldest son is one of the distillers, but um, basically our rum starts um, in these big tanks that you're filming now, these are our uh, fermentation tanks. So we start with molasses, uh, it gets fermented, and then basically that liquid will move into these big copper stills, which all the alcohol gets boiled out of uh, that mixture, runs through all these cooling pipes and all of that beautiful copper that you see, that's an important step in the process because sulfites, which are, um, some chemicals that you don't necessarily want to make it to your end product rum adhere to all the copper. So the more copper the alcohol touches, the smoother of a taste it will be. So as you can see, we have tons of copper here and that really uh, improves our taste of our rum. So I'm curious to ask you, Nicole, how many hours does it take to actually run through the whole process for the bottles or the vats? So from start to finish, our most simple rum is our silver rum. From the time we start with the molasses to the time it goes into a bottle actually takes about a month. Um, our flavored rum's a little bit longer as those natural flavors get infused into the silver rum. Great, and how many years have you guys actually been operating? Um, Siesta Key Rum has been here 11 years now, which actually makes us the oldest craft distillery in Florida. Wow, that's incredible. So what was the concept, the idea behind this? I mean, did they have any history in, in bottling? Or? So this company started, um, founded by a man named Troy Roberts. Okay. He had several other jobs before. He ended up retired at a pretty young age. Um, got really bored being retired. He loved rum, loved flavored rums, was frustrated that he couldn't get good quality flavored rums. Wow. So he did it right when he started. He bought these stills, he rented this property and got going the right way. And he took years to develop even his first rums. So he um, is really big on not taking any shortcuts and you can tell when you taste the rums. Wow, what a history this place really does have. If our viewers want to find you guys or do some tours you offer here, can you tell us some tour times as well? Absolutely. So we offer different tour times throughout the year. So your safest bet to find when our tours will be is on our website, drumcircledistilling.com. There's a page for the tours with a calendar. Um, this time of year, we are offering tours pretty regularly on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And Nicole, how much are those tours? The best part is they're free. How much is that? <laughs> free three dollars and three cents that's incredible yes you know you never get anything for nothing i mean they're really there's no strings attached it's absolutely free wow. absolutely free tastings as well when you come for a tour too so that's an added bonus uh oh that means heather's gonna be real excited when we join the, the tasting later and nicole if our viewers want to find this distillery even though it's called siesta key rum it's not on Siesta Key. I got a little confused today. So what is your address here? So we're found at 2212 Industrial Boulevard. We're in North Sarasota, uh, almost near the airport. Awesome. And what about a phone number if they want to call and get information? Let's see. You can call us at 941-358-1900. Great. Stay right there. There's so much more to come. And I promise you, you don't want to miss the taste test. And it's up next. What are you doing?
Better question is, what are you doing? Because I am protected by People's Insurance Agency. Are you? Start saving money today. Call People's Insurance 377-7654. All right, Nicole, the part Heather here has been waiting for for quite some time. The tasting of Siesta Key Rum. Siesta and Key Rum doesn't just come in one original flavor. How many different flavors does it come in? So right now at the distillery, we have three different kinds. Uh, we happen to be in between batches of some of our aged products. So sometimes you can come here and you'll find one aged rum along with our three rums here. Sometimes we have two or even three different aged uh, products that will go along with our three kind of mainstays here our spice toasted coconut and silver so that's what we have for you guys to try today um mm. so you ready to try some rum i don't know heather what do you think don't threaten me with a good time <laughs> all right so first we'll start with our spiced rum okay. that's this right here um, made with completely real spices there's some honey and vanilla mm. that's really what makes us special um award mm. over and over again that spice drum. <sighs> Heather's a happy girl. What did you think, Heather? I thought uh, I actually could taste that uh, the vanilla, particularly. I could taste it. It's excellent. It's uh, no chaser needed. <laughs> okay. And next up, we have so toasted coconut. This one's my personal favorite. This one's our best seller, and again, follows our mo of using completely real ingredients. So made with real coconut rather than any oh, sort yeah. of chemical oh yeah you can definitely flavor. taste now what's the percentage of of liquor so those two rums that you just tried are 70 proof so it's 35 percent alcohol um the last rum that we have is 80 proof so it's a little bit stronger making uh made for making nice strong cocktails for you oh wow so this silver rum is absolutely a mixing rum uh, rather than the last two that we do consider good enough to be sipping rum. Okay. So you can try it by itself, but here at the tasting room, we always have some mixers if you'd like. Um, a really great one is some pineapple juice if you want to try it that way. Okay. Or just by itself. Oh, I do love, yeah. A little, little pineapple? Oh, that guy. Okay. So you guys offer sampling to everybody that comes in on the tour? Absolutely. So tastings are free. Of age, of course. <laughs> of course. Don't get, don't get carried away. 21 and up. Yep, so free tastings. We offer six days a week. Monday through Saturday, we're open 10 to 5. So 10 to 5. Oh, wow. So I've got to ask you the question that I'm sure other people are asking that are watching. It being of clear liquor, does does that help with less calories? Because they always say if you're going to drink liquor, drink, drink the white color. Ab absolutely. Clear. So our other rums... We don't add a ton of sugar back into them. There is a little bit of honey in our other rums, but in oh, that silver rum is going to be the most healthy because we don't add anything into it. We okay. run it through the still, and it's a common misconception that rum has a lot of sugar in it, but in the distillation process, all that sugar comes out, so wow. it's just really, really clean. So I think yeah. really what it comes down to is what you put into the rum. Correct. Cranberry juice, pineapple juice, right, the right. things that I love. <laughs> so that makes a lot of sense. Right. So let's give it a try, Heather. Sure. I see you can't wait. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Similar. Listen, I like it with, of course, the fattening stuff, the pineapple juice and the cranberry juice and stuff that's double calorie. Well, here you go, Heather. I didn't finish these either. You might as well finish them up there. She's a Christian. She don't drink. <laughs> Good to the last drop. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm glad you asked those questions about calories and nutrition because nowadays so many people are watching the carbs or low-carb diets and or no sugar. And um, I personally am not a huge sugar person. So I'm glad that you pointed that out, that you're probably going to get more sugar from whatever your mixer is than what you're actually drinking in the rum because of the distillery process. So very good question. Thanks for pointing Absolutely. that out. It's a great to know that Siesta Key Rum is all natural flavors. Yeah. yeah, and that you are getting less if you want the clear, and you're getting 10% higher volume of alcohol, so you really can't go <laughs> wrong. They add in the spices. That's because most people aren't using real spices. They're using artificial spices, and those aren't really going to hold up inside of the barrel. But since we're using real spices, we can get some really cool things out of actually having them inside of the barrel. 
We are back with Nicole. We are in the merchandise area of Siesta Key Rum, and we're in the cheat sheet area. Everybody loves a good recipe. So if you're thinking, what do I do with this rum? Here you go. Here is one of many recipes that they have available. Nicole, tell us a little bit about this particular recipe. So this is a recipe that was actually developed for us by Daiquiri Deck. You'll see them all around Sarasota. There's one in Venice, I believe. Yes. But they used our toasted coconut rum to make this really delicious siesta key lime pie, they call it. It is absolutely a dessert in a glass. Um, it's kind of involved with a couple different ingredients, but once you have them on hand, it's really easy to make. Um, it starts, of course, with our toasted coconut rum, um, whipped cream vodka, cream of coconut, key lime juice, very important and very Florida, and finishes with a little frangelico, which adds almost like a little bit of um, nutty taste that really mimics the taste of the crust really well. So it's exactly like a key lime pie. And then we like to add a little rim of rim. graham cracker crumbs, which is tasty yeah. and also makes for a really great presentation. And um, we like a little whipped cream on top too. It always finishes Perfect. that off really nicely. Perfect. Thank you. And cheat sheets right here. You pick up your cheat sheets right in the merchandise area. Several, several recipes they have for you. So no reason why you can't get your Siesta Key Rum and make something very special. I'm a big fan of this. Big fan of this. Now, merchandise. Aside from your little cheat sheets here, we have candles, flask, t-shirts, Tervises, you have everything here. Once all the rum for that week has been put in bottles, we bring it back in. Then we'll line up as many bottles as we can on these three tables. Because then we still have to put our shrink wraps on them. So you take one of these, you slide it over the top. Once all the bottles are, have a shrink wrap that are on the tables. Back in the day, somebody would take this heat gun and they would shrink it one at a time. All right, Heather, what did you think? Siesta Key Rum did not disappoint. I had a wonderful time. And you had some wonderful drinks, too. I think you even drank some of my drink, too. Listen, I don't like wasting. I think being wasteful is just a daggum shame. <laughs> wow, this place really has it all, as I always like to say. Yep. You're living underneath the rock, of course. If you've not been down here, I actually haven't. This was my yep. first time, first experience, and I tell you, it lived up to everything, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, once again, what do we love to support? Family-owned and operated businesses. And it's right here in Sarasota. They have a wonderful distillery, free tours, merchandise, free tasting. What are you waiting for? If you don't know this here young lady right here to my right, it's Heather Howell. Ooh, you can find her and all the great things about her clipping, hair clipping that is, by going where, Heather? I am at Diane K. Salon and Spa, 1642 Main Street in downtown Sarasota. And what about your phone number besides it being on some wall. <laughs> uh, besides the bathroom wall, it's at 941-961-4706. Great. We want to thank you for joining us. We'll see you once again when we're out and about Sarasota. Out and about Sarasota made possible by these fine sponsors. This has been an Out and About Media production, a product of Sarasota Socialites.